everybody hi and welcome to this video so today's video is about um, what do you need to know about direct PhD after completing BTech in biotechnology and um, my focus in today's video is about direct PhDs in the United uh, States so uh, Rakshita asked me this question uh, so hi Rakshita if you're listening to this video um, I hope you um, find your answers through this video so first of all um, when you you are in your second year make sure that you start your GRE classes because when you have to get into a direct PhD program in the US um, it's it makes it very easy if you have a good GRE score and a good TOEFL score so um, the first thing you need to do is that start GRE and TOEFL classes if you don't think uh, you can prepare by yourself. Uh, the next thing is that you need to look up into the type of universities that you want to get into and especially if it is about PhD, I have mentioned this before that um, if it is about PhD then it uh, matters more about your PI but since it's a direct PhD what happens is that you undergo rotations uh, lab rotations so for that uh, make sure that you have a list of universities that you want to apply to and check for their criteria individually and make a list of all those documents that you need for your individual university and make sure that you have a separate folder so you can have a folder called applications and then you can have subfolders of of each university that you want to apply to I would say restricted to around 10 uh, universities or so and then uh, what you can do is that throughout the second year you can prepare and by the end of second year you can give GRE TOEFL so that you have these scores ready also um, I would like to actually mention the documents that I used um, or I, that were asked for when I applied for a direct PhD were uh, GRE scores, TOEFL scores. Um, you also need your transcripts uh, which shows about your GPA which is also very important. Um, make sure that you know three professors or three scientists from whom you can get uh, letters of recommendation and letters of recommendation I've told you before about that in another video then you need a good CV so start making your CV um, just talk to some people uh, find out how to make a CV start doing stuff that can be added in your CV and um, then start writing your letter of motivation so I've made another video on that so make sure that you see one video on letter of recommendation the other one of on letter of motivation which is same as statement of purpose and uh, that's quite about it so you need to make sure that you start early so that you have enough time to prepare for your exams and uh, repeat these exams if you don't score that well um, however I would suggest that you prepare a little well so that you don't have to spend more money because these exams are quite expensive so it's better that you uh, get good grades uh, I mean good get good marks um, in the first attempt itself I hope this video is helpful um, I hope Rakshita you found it helpful and for the others who had the same question if you have similar questions on direct PhD please write them in the comment section below I'll try to answer them and I wish you all the best see you guys later